Hi guys, um, it's time to put the things back together. I took everything apart. I washed it properly. You can see here these rubber domes are ready to be to be mounted again. And um, I also watched some videos about how this actually works and uh, it was quite interesting and I will try to explain some of it to you but I have to admit I don't understand it 100% but um, I will give you as much uh, knowledge as I can um, this is the the part I show you right away um, I have taken it apart by myself and put it back together it was not in the video it was actually these five screws to release then you get this thing here out of it and um, the screws go down into that part and this is the so-called shroud and it has very thin holes as you probably can see once it is clean and when you move it inside out, you have a rubber seal lip here. And this one is actually, when you lift it, it does kind of automatic cleaning, plus minus. However, it is recommended that from time to time you use uh, these dust cloves. Everybody knows from the childhood, I guess, when you had to clean the room. <laughs> and um, to to get it clean again. It is written in the manual, do not use any water around here. Although you can take it plus minus apart to just use a dust towel and, and get it clean. Now that you always enjoy your vacuum cleaner, your Dyson or your cyclone cleaner in general, because the principle is everywhere the same, you have a max line here. You have the symbol like how how much you can collect dust with it. And now it is said it doesn't matter where you reach that certain height of dust or dirt. Once you reach it, it doesn't have to be here. If you reach it over here, if it piles up here, you should clean it because um, I don't know how to say that um, in English or if I pronounce it correctly from my... So you have the, 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 the centrif centrifugal... Um, when the wind or when you turn something very fast, it has, it has a tendency to go outside when you turn something fast. As you probably know with a, with a bucket that you fill with water and you swing it around your body and the water will stay inside. So, what happens is, we have um, we have this hole goes to the to the engine where it sucks in, where it sucks the air basically. So, but the air comes from from your hose where you collect the dirt, and the air goes in here, and. Now you cannot see it because of this, of this red thing here, but it will guide it along the, 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 the band, so to say. And here where, I, where you probably can see my finger hit on it, here it opens. So it comes in on, on the outside and it opens and it gets smaller. So that it, that it that it will speed up probably as it gets a smaller in diameter, it speeds up. So the, the large heavy dust will release from the air, stay on the outside of on the wall. And once it loses its speed, once it loses its speed, it will fall down. Now in that case, let me open it. So usually this this thing here is I'm too high, sorry guys. Usually this one here is closed. So it falls down on, on this one. And then there is, a, as you can see, there is an opening here. 
and then it falls somehow further down until it reaches this place. When you when you release to to get the dirt out of it, everything opens obviously, and, and everything should fall out. Also interesting, we have a rubber lip here on the outside as well, and this again fits. On, on, on this item here. So this one is another little dust collector. I think for the very, very small part, I'll explain in a minute. So once you open it, it opens the, the main bin and it opens the little bin on the side as well. Um, I, so, so the idea is actually that the large dirt falls out of here and cannot be, and now this is the thing, cannot be sucked in by the by the shroud which sits here in the middle. I'm gonna show it for a second. So you can see now the, the shroud goes down. So the air wants to go up here because here is the engine who sucks the the air out of it. So the air turn goes in here, goes around and wants to escape into here. But in here we have this this thing here, and this one is actually where where the engine where the engine sits. And this dome will go up all the way up. I will show you later. So the air cannot go to the to the engine now. It has to go along on the outside here. And on the outside here. We have now again the same shape here as you can see this is the first cyclone heads and these cyclone heads will now have to make sure that i hit the hole here so and this cyclone head will now actually I cannot hold it against the light, but if you take it apart yourself, um, the cycle head will now totally close it to the to the one below. So the only way the air can come up is in here, where I stuck in the screwdriver. So the air has to come up in here. Well, obviously outside it cannot. So this is the only way here on this on this line here, between this line, here where I where I put it inside. I don't know if you can see it now. So so the air has to travel up here. Now once the, the air travels up here, you have the this seal on top of it. Now this seal has a very funny shape. You have here these these domes. They are very small actually, I think at least and they come on top of it. So, so if the air, now we put on top another seal on it, where we have again, like before, these um, small noses, uh, hoses, and on top of it, they look like this. They look all the same, basically. Every, every one on top of the, of the cyclone looks like this. So, and now, the final, this is the, the roof, so to say. So once the air has traveled up here, it can now go into the duct in here and travel to the to the motor. So I close it here. This is it. So if you now I saw some movies about how this how this cyclone works and and one of the explanations is uh, I should oh. I show it to you now. One of the explanations is 
the reason you you don't have a um, you have almost you don't need to replace this filter within ten years, and, and the reason is that that the largest dirt will stay will stay in in the big bucket below here. Then we have a very thin metal shroud, and most of the dirt will again stay here. So we are about one micron or a half micron of dirt or whatever. No, maybe a bit larger but they can travel through here. Once they travel through here, then they somehow, I don't know how, they should go into the, the cyclone, get speed up, and so much speed that only the small pieces that finally um, fall out of these little rubbers below. And when they fall out of that rubber, this is what I told you before, that we have a second bin, so they fall down in here, in this no, no airflow area, so to say. Now it's a little bit difficult to show you, but here it goes to the engine, but that's not the one I'm talking about. Here, here, here we have another hole. And that's basically the whole part here. And this complete part finally sits here and has a rubber at the bottom. And when you eject it to empty the bin, it will also clean that one. So this one is like the, the totally thinnest dust you can ever get. So all the very, very thin dust has to fall down in here and get into that one in order not to go into the engine. I will um, now build it together. So as we began at the bottom, we have to start at the top, of course. So this one is the top part. Very important on the top part, we have this release button. And the release button has to push this item, which you lose while taking it apart. So, now I have already um, put the rubber thingies on the inside here. We have 35, by the way. I heard somebody say another number, but it is 35. 35 of those rubbers. Make sure they sit properly. I did that before. I just look if they're still okay, as I have showed, moved it around while showing it to you. And um, make sure that you are very careful with the seal. So. Now. You take this one, and here you have a, a valve that should be should be moving. This is when you when you get not enough air for the engine. And you put that one in here. You have seen it. it. It went quite easy. It was a lucky strike. Usually, you have to play a little bit with it. Then you take that one. This one on top of here. And don't forget that one. I have to look. All right. So you put it down. You put it in here. So here are the holes. Put it in here. You have to try a little bit. And then you get around here. And then it is inside. Now you have this like this. It's not really complicated. I just, um, yeah, had some trouble in the beginning. However, I'll put this one on it. So, this way. Okay, now I have it. And now once I hold it like this, 
Um, I should be able to push the button here. And you can see how this one here comes out. All right. So now we have the smallest screws from the cyclone to put in here. I got myself a screwdriver for that. It's a T8 and Torx. Okay, once you have the first screw, you're safe. Okay, two screws done, five to go. One, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. Where's the fifth? Okay, wasn't so easy. Maybe uh, maybe the screw head didn't like that I used to release it without the proper screw head. Screwdriver. But on the other hand, it helps by placing the screws. As they are a little bit sore. Much nicer without the dust. Hmm. It's time to put the, the rubber domes on it. Um, First, I do a check on the outside. Yeah. Looks still good to me. To wash it, uh, I took um, what do you call that? Not a brush. I took mm, what's the word? 
want to spring to my mind. The one you use to 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 draw um, to draw something. Um, gosh, because I wanted to have a, a, a total soft thing to to wash it. It, it didn't have to be completely clean. I just wanted to get all the dirt basically off of it. Um, obviously, it's a vacuum cleaner, so it will collect all the dust right away once you turn it on again. So don't make it too clean. But I didn't want to hurt the surface because when you hurt the surface, the dust can stick on it much easier. So I'm, as I was very careful, I uh, using oh, not a brush. What's the is it a brush? To paint this very thin, well, these very soft ones anyway. So here we go. Check if all the all sit well. And yeah, we'll check if everything is fine. This is quite easy to put it on without these tools. So remember, there is one screw coming here. Okay. Hmm. Much easier. All right. Still working. Now I put that screw here in the middle. And I can take care, I think, of the very long one. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Not a lot, huh? Because my right hand. Then do it over the cross when you have done it one here, do the, the next one on the opposite. Remember this plastic, you just want it to be 
tight, don't overdo. Don't use too much force on it. I put the two rubber domes now. We hear a nice noise when they snap on the, the plastic. Finally, I have to do this around here. And um, by the way, if as I as I said in the beginning, when you when you take care not to not to go over the over the maximum of the of the, of the bin, um, this what I do here is actually not really necessary to take it totally apart, but. I did so because I knew that the, the previous owner um, didn't take care of that. So I didn't know how it's going to look inside. So anyway, um, I will also link um, some, some videos, as I said before, where you can see how on this video, I think the air should even travel from, from here inside these these rubber domes and then you see them wiggle a little bit around and the dirt will then fall down here and when the dirt falls down here it should then basically fall down in here and this is what I said before it should then be collected within that part here I guess And the final. Voila. So. And this is what it should look like. As beautiful as it gets. Now I put it on top of this one. Now we have here the mechanics that has to go into the hole here. So that it finally works to release the bin. Oh, don't forget! Um, I already put it there. There is a there is a seal. There is a, there is a little seal inside here. Um, when you took it out, I, I carefully washed it very carefully. And um, especially this part here is totally thin, so I didn't really wash it, I just, yeah, you will see. So, and we see the, the mechanics works, so if nothing done wrong on that part. And now, finally, the screws around it.
I mean, they put um, a little so that you you could easier reach it, but still, it is not. It, it's not enough. The ramp. Final trick. Good. So yeah, basically because if you always empty the bin in the right place, this cyclone technique is so smart that you should not, never have to do what I have done here. But in case you have to, you've seen how I've done it. Now I wait to attach that one. Because this was quite a pain to get it away, if you remember. Let's put it together after all. Beautiful. But this mechanic here, this is do it or not do it. And once it sits on the on the vacuum engine part, it does push this one away. And when you hit the knob here, it will only release it from the from the car. I like it. Really smart stuff. Fine technique. See you later.